So now, happy to give the word to Her Excellency uh, Zara, Ambassador of the Republic of Italy to Bulgaria. Ambassador, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Minister, dear colleagues and friends, uh, Professor Mirai, and uh, I wish first of all to thank the American Chamber for uh, uh, inviting me and giving me the opportunity to share some ideas. And uh, I wish also to thank all the partners that join the American Chamber in this really um, opportune initiative. Um, today we will discuss the needs for Bulgaria to improve the implementation of the rule of law in the country and its consequences on the business environment and the investment climate. The implementation of the rule of law, the efficiency, transparency, and autonomy of the judiciary system, the respect of civil and political rights, and the fight against corruption are among the most relevant modern challenges in every country, as in Italy, as well in Bulgaria. Uh, Italy, for example, has a long history in fighting against corruption and against infiltration of organized crime into the institutions and the administration. Given so, Italy developed during the years a solid system in order to prevent these unlawful conducts to be perpetrated and to intervene promptly in case of any wrongdoing. However, criminality and especially organized crime is today a multinational industry affects globally all affluent societies and exploits developing countries. Notwithstanding our efforts, it took 30 years to arrest a few days ago the most wanted mafia criminal in Italy, Matteo Messina Denaro, who has strong connections with organized crime all over the world. Corruption is the cancer of society and kills economic development. Uh, for fighting it, Italy established in 2012 a dedicated and autonomous authority called ANAC uh, with the aim of implementing Article 6 of the United Nations Convention Against Corruption. It is an independent authority and its board is composed of five members appointed by the government with a non-renewable mandate of six years. The Minister of Economy proposes the nominations which are approved by the Council of Ministers and appointed by the President of the Republic. Within the Italian legal system, ANAC, this authority, has the responsibility to draw up a preventive strategy against corruption, to supervise the anti-corruption strategy of each public entity through the adoption of three-year plans for integrity and transparency, to guarantee transparency in public administrations, and finally, to guarantee the integrity of civil servants and to disseminate a culture of integrity and legality. The authority pursues its goals through regulatory and supervisory activities, has an advisory function and inspection and sanctioning powers. These tasks are accompanied by an important monitoring activity through the collection of data on public procurements. For this purpose, ANAC has set up a national database on public contracts that collects, integrates, and reconciles data concerning public contracts transmitted by contracting authorities. The system is open to interoperability, both with internal systems of the authority and with similar systems of other public administrations. In addition, ANA, this authority, has the duty to report to the Italian Parliament on its activities and exercises and advocacy function by submitting proposals for new legislation or modifications of existing laws to both Parliament and the government. I think that uh, this authority benefited a lot Italian business and transparency on public procurement. I think it's a very good example that could be shared with you and with um, all your uh, partners and members. Italy is also a trusted alliance friend of Bulgaria and one of its main commercial and investment partners and firmly supports the strong commitment of the Bulgarian government to address the issue of the fight against corruption and the implementation of the rule of law. Italy considers indeed such aspects as substantial elements for any democratic country to be able to offer its citizens the full respect of their civil and political rights and to offer the business community a safe and transparent environment. Without this, no business and no society can develop and progress. 
According to the most recent report on corruption of Transparency International, in 2021, Bulgaria ranks 78 out of 180 countries, with a score of 42 points out of 100. In 2020, Bulgaria ranked 69th, with a score of 44 points, having therefore lost 10 positions. This is a signal to business and to investments, and it is not good. Given so, and considering the importance of these subjects for the goals of joining Schengen area and Eurozone, addressing those issues is one of the main, if not the main, challenge for the Bulgarian government and the Bulgarian people. For these reasons, I want to thank again the American Chamber of Commerce in Bulgaria, America for Bulgaria Foundation, Confindustria Bulgaria, the French Chambers in Bulgaria, the Bulgarian Swiss Chamber of Commerce, and all the other organizers for today's conference. Thank you very much again, and have a fruitful and interesting discussion.